Despite the challenges of bad weather and coordination of teams in different bases, the expedition managed to cover great distances and collect uh, information on biodiversity richness, uh, reef status and other information. Yeah, we had uh, 38 species of mushroom coral, which is quite a high number. Uh, also in comparison with other areas in the coral triangle, but it's not as much as we found in Semporna. But uh, it's still a very high number and we are very happy with the result. Uh, due to the bad weather, we were only able to make 41 out of 53 planned dives. I found about 28 species of agarisid corals and 14 species of euphilid corals and I expected to find one or two more species from the area, but I did not find those species, possibly because we were not able to visit reefs with more oceanic conditions. I was looking at um, invertebrates uh, collected for commercial purposes, such as giant clams and sea cucumbers, as well as other uh, organisms, uh, which could be attractive to divers. Um, however, the diversity and the abundance of the invertebrates wasn't very high and part of the reason was probably due to uh, the lack of diverse habitats as well as intensive collection that is being conducted throughout the, the park area. We have difficulty in some of the sites uh, on the bad visibility. So we managed to survey uh, around 36 sites with 55 transects late. Unfortunately, we uh, only found four transects that have an excellent live coral coverage and the rest have uh, more or less fair to good condition of reefs. So we saw almost 500 different fish species uh, throughout the region. Um, however, there was generally a low abundance of fish species overall and um, relatively few megafauna such as uh, turtles and sharks. So this generally indicates that there's been some overfishing pressure in the region. Um, and establishment of marine protected areas will help build these fish stocks. There was relatively few fish data available in the region prior to this expedition. So um, we'll be able to use this data to help uh, in the Tun Mustafa Park Marine Zoning Plan that will help protect nursery grounds and um, protect high diversity sites. Sepanjang pemerhatian uh, dalam ekspedisi ini, uh, saya mendapati saiz ikan adalah terlalu kecil. Di hampir semua kawasan di Taman Marin Tun Mustafa ini, Hanya satu kawasan yang uh, menunjukkan saiz ikan yang lebih besar, yang penting untuk uh, menunjukkan ekosistem marine yang seimbang. The expedition was a great experience with a, a great boat and a good crew helping us out. And during the expedition, I found 25 ovulid snails and 23 different genera of octocorals. Maybe there are more, but we have to examine the species back in the Netherlands and maybe we'll find some more species and different genera that we collected here. The weather made the expedition challenging. We could not visit some of the exposed sites and therefore missed out on a few coral species. But overall there was a good diversity of corals and therefore a good diversity of gal crabs. I think I collected about the same number of species as I did in Samporna and possibly one gal crab species new to science because it was collected from a coral host that no one ever collected a gal crab from before. So that's exciting, but I have to check with a microscope back home in the Netherlands to see if it's really a new species. I've collected about 400 specimens of red, brown and green algae and also a few seagrasses. They represent an estimated 130 species. 
Uh, some are new to science. I know that because I found them at other locations already. Uh, they still need to be described. Other species I've never seen in my life, nor do, they, do I recognize them from a picture. So it remains to be seen whether they are new or not. So our data collection objective here was to rapidly assess coral reef health and diversity in this region. And our next step is to incorporate the findings from this expedition into the proposed zoning plan for Tun Mustafa Park. Jangkaan awal saya sangkakan batu karang ini memang sudah hancur disebabkan bom dan juga sujum yang setiap kali kedengaran. Pada hakikatnya tidaklah sebegitu teruk daripada yang sebelum. Mungkin juga penduduk kampung sudah sedar bahawa bahayanya penggunaan bom dan sujum kepada manu, kepada nelayan dan juga hidupan laut. Generally I'm happy with the data I've collected. It has been a challenging trip and I think everyone's exhausted. But happy. Mm -hmm.